Despite all she's been through, Denora Rodriguez feels lucky. She underwent surgery to have her breast implants replaced, but woke up to much more than she ever bargained for. The surgeon botched her implants, causing them to merge together. And to make matters worse, during the same surgery, decided to operate on Denora's eyes without her permission. Now she can no longer close her eyes completely and must care for them constantly. I have to deal with this, doctor said, for the rest of my life and having to put some medication at night. And it's very uncomfortable for me. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? It's a story Dr. Steve Teitelbaum is hearing more often. As a member of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, he was able to fix Denora's implants, but says what's even more disturbing than stories like hers is a medical system that allows it to happen. It's actually legal. It's legal in this country, as advanced as it is, for a non-board certified plastic surgeon to perform plastic surgery. Part of the problem, says Dr. Teitelbaum, is that once doctors get their medical license, they can practice in any field they choose. Only four states have tough truth and advertising measures on the books, requiring providers to be more transparent about their training. But there's nothing on a national and level. Action. So the American Society of Plastic Surgeons is taking action. A new Should campaign is facility warning facility patients facility. that just because someone offers a procedure doesn't mean they're qualified to perform it. What should happen is that state medical boards should say, you were trained in pediatrics, you were trained in orthopedic surgery, so you get to do pediatrics and you get to do orthopedic surgery. That's it. It's that simple. Until that happens, it's up to patients like Denora to learn exactly what their doctors are qualified to do before doing anything at all. In Los Angeles, this is Clark Powell reporting.